Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Christmas and Chinese New Year. Here is our outline. Every nation has its traditional festivals. The Chinese New Year is the major holiday celebrating in Taiwan, while Christmas is the most important red letter day in the Western world. Those festivals give people a chance to be away from their regular work and everyday worries, to enjoy themselves and to develop kinship and friendship. About the meal in an important festival, most of the Western countries like British have tend to prepare various delicious dishes, including the roast suckling pig, turkey, Christmas pudding, dried fruit pie, and so on. According to their custom, eating turkey has been more than 300 years history. Christmas is not only a festival but also a good time to enjoy the time with family. And compared with Taiwan Chinese New Year, they have the similarity of eating habits. However, the eating habit does not mean that they are eating the same thing. It is the way they eat. For example, Taiwanese group their family members to eat together, which is similar to the meaning hiding in Christmas. Furthermore, they will order or cook various portions with meat, fish, and so on during Chinese New Year. Thus, most of the Western people and Taiwanese will eat various cuisines for celebrating their biggest festival. In Taiwan, we usually do New Year shopping to buy watermelon seeds, pistachio, candy, turkey, green tablets, and so on for Chinese New Year. In contrast, people in Europe, specifically in Germany, go to the Christmas market. Unlike Chinese who buy snacks and everything needed during Chinese New Year at the New Year's market, Europeans go to the Christmas market to enjoy the atmosphere. Christmas market is a street market during the four weeks of Advent. It sells food, drinks, especially hot mood wine, decorations, and seasonal items, accompanied by traditional singing and dancing. All in all, no matter which market it is, they are both places where people enjoy the festival and have fun. People do lots of special things to celebrate Chinese New Year. Most of songs is wishing you good fortune and happiness. This song's topic means to visit your friends and relatives. The Chinese New Year is often accompanied by loud, enthusiastic greetings, often referred to as Xi Xianghua, loosely translated as auspicious words or phrases. New Year couplets, printed in gold letters on bright red paper, are another way of expressing auspicious New Year wishes. Today, we're ubiquitous with Chinese New Year. What does everyone mean when they're hoping this year will be a white Christmas? What is the meaning of the lyrics on dreaming of a white Christmas? The answer is if you look at the possibility map, you'll notice that most states in the United States have less than a 25% chance of a white Christmas each year. When it comes to Christmas then, you may think of being coffee, tradition of white Christmas, which is fraught with a sense of longing. White Christmas is a holiday tradition beloved by millions. It's also the most popular song ever. The classic classic was written by Irving Berlin, one of the most prolific American composers in history. Many think Berlin was inspired to write White Christmas during a stay in Beverly Hills while working on a movie. He was homesick for his family. The song is the definitive Bing Crosby rendition that make us stop, listen, and drink along, as it has for so many Decembers. Christmas and the Chinese New Year are both important celebratory occasions. These are times when family, friends, and even complete strangers can come together in harmonious enthusiasm. But the most important thing about these two occasions, even with their differences, is they bring people together and are both accepting towards all cultures and beliefs. Thanks for your listening.